Welcome to today's broadcast. Kako has been sharing a stimulating series titled The Leadership Secrets of Jesus. Today he speaks about faithfulness. Let's join in. We have been sharing on the art of leadership. I forget about the art of leadership. And I've been speaking on the subtitle The Leadership Secrets of Jesus. The Leadership Secrets of Jesus. Leadership is very important because what happens to you as an individual, what happens to a business, what happens to a church, what happens to a country, what happens to a family is dependent on the leadership. Because at the end of the day, it's the driver of a car that determines where the car goes, not the occupants in the car. That's what makes leadership very important. Now, our role of leadership as Christians is Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus. It didn't say looking unto the bishop or the pastor. It said looking unto Jesus. Because you always need something or someone to copy or someone to emulate. My first copy book. And your first copy book in Christianity is Jesus himself. So don't look at yourself. Don't look at your shepherd. Don't look at your pastor. Look at the highest standard, Jesus himself, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. In other words, he started our walk with God with us, and he will end with us. So when it comes to leadership, he's our standard. So today, we want to talk about one characteristic of Jesus, the leadership of Jesus. When I say character, characteristic, it means one noticeable part of his character is faithfulness. Just not the faithfulness. Look at him and say faithfulness. faithfulness. That word faithfulness, what does it mean? In John chapter 7 verse 9, the Bible talks about the faithfulness of God. It says, No doubt therefore that the Lord thy God, he is a faithful God. Keeping covenant and mercy with that that love him with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations in this verse moses was talking to israel because at that time they were about to enter the promised land and all their forefathers had died you know they wandered the wilderness for 40 years so it was only the young ones who were there and the young ones did not know what had happened. So that's why Moses had to write the book of Deuteronomy. And he was introducing God to them. And one thing he said about the quality of God, he said, God is a faithful God. That's one characteristic of God. And Jesus is God. So he was talking about the faithfulness of God. Then he said, as a faithful God, he keeps covenant. When the Bible says a covenant, it means an agreement or a contract. But it's not the normal contract that we have. In a normal contract, there are two parties. You decide to do this, I will do this, and we sign. But in a covenant, it's a one-sided contract. I tell you, if you do A, B, C, D, I'll give you one million. If you are ready, sign. If you are not ready to go, you can't change it. These are my rules. So the covenant is a one-sided agreement. Either you accept it or you don't. But if you accept it or you, or you meet the conditions, all the blessings that are in the covenant will come to you. So he told them that, listen, when God makes a contract with you and he promises you, he says that know that he's faithful. Very faithful. He says he's not only faithful, he's merciful. Then he said, he will show his, uh, to those who love him and keep his commandments for a thousand generations. Can imagine how long it is? So in this verse, the Bible talks about some of the qualities of leadership. But when I say faithful, I'm not talking about your boss. I'm talking about God himself. So, three things stand up to me when I read this verse. The first one is that faithfulness means trustworthy. Just only trustworthy. 
Moses was telling him that this God, you can trust him. He said, if, you, if a thousand generations pass, you can trust him that whatever he said he would do, he will do it. Trustworthy. Thank you for joining us. Today we learned that one characteristic of leadership is faithfulness, which means to be trustworthy. Join us again tomorrow as this exciting series continues. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says, married after 45. It said, dear prophet, I had many disappointments and I encountered many problems in my relationships. I ask you to pray for me and to the glory of God, you did, and I'm now married at 45. It was such a beautiful wedding. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to 233 55 70 90 10. Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.